Aloha folks, Kiwara Balul here with Maui Now. We are doing our Talking Law series with Defense Attorney David Serino. We're talking about some issues and questions that people have that affect our community. And one of those would be medical marijuana and weapons. We've got a state issue versus a federal issue here, right? So let's jump right in. That's, that's absolutely correct. The, the state of Hawaii has said that you're allowed to have marijuana in your possession in a certain amount for medical purposes. So you would need a prescription just like any other um, any other drug that might be prescribed by your doctor. Now that's a state law. The federal law still says marijuana is a Schedule I drug that is not legal. President Obama, during his time period, he basically instructed the Department of Justice that if the state already has a, mar a marijuana law, to kind of back off. Mm -hmm. But technically speaking, if the feds wanted to come in and arrest people for possession of marijuana in Hawaii, um, even though they had a card, they could. So it's still against the law to hold to have marijuana. Now the problem with, if it was just a state issue with regards to guns, that wouldn't be a problem. But the federal government prohibits people possessing an illegal drug and a firearm. So it's not the state that's stopping you because a lot of people who've come to see me say why is the state or the county prohibiting me from owning a firearm? It's really not that. It's the federal government won't allow you to have a firearm and it's a federal crime. And, and so yes I guess you have to make a choice of whether or not you want the medical marijuana license or if you want guns, but you surely can't have both of them. Not until the federal government decides to legalize um, marijuana, at least in some form. So people who have weapons and have a medical marijuana card then need to turn in their weapons? You need to surrender. Well, you don't need to surrender your weapons. You need to transfer them. So you don't just because, okay, let's presume that somebody has five rifles for hunting and they get a medical marijuana license. Well, they are prohibited from hunting or having in their possession that gun if they have marijuana with them. Hmm. Okay. They don't have to give them to the cops. They can go to a federal firearms dealer. They can go, there's other ways that they can transfer them to other people or to legally sell them. They just can't have it in their possession. That's the issue. The issue is, do you possess and, and it's not enough, by the way, to say, oh, the gun's in my house, but I don't touch it. Because there's two kinds of possession. There's actual possession, which is me saying, I now possess my glasses. Mm -hmm. And there's constructive possession, which means I know my glasses are there and I'm able to exercise control over these glasses. Right? Mm -hmm. And if that's also possession, I can't say, oh, well, I know they're there, but I've never touched them. In the law, there's things called constructive possession. So I advise my clients to simply, you know, give them to a relative um, or not get a medical marijuana license. And then we were also talking about the medical marijuana registry. Does law enforcement have access to that? They, it's my understanding that they do. I have actually seen a couple of reports more recently um, for some of the cases I've worked on where they actually have looked up whether or not the place that they're searching, the, whether the owner has a medical marijuana license. I recommend to my clients that, well, you don't have to. I would, if you could put your license number somehow, just like in letter, you know, the kind of things, those, those, um, those numbers that you put on your mailbox, mm -hmm. if you just put those numbers down in front of your house, or if you have um, a screen around your, your marijuana to go ahead and, and put those, numbers there that way the police know when they're coming to your home that there is in fact a medical marijuana license they can look it up and and of course it's legal to grow the marijuana um, but I would make it more public and I think that protects you probably better so display the permit number I would I mean and you don't have to there's no requirement in the law it's just if your next door neighbor complains you know I saw them growing marijuana next door well, if the police show up or they look over the fence, when they show up and they see your number, they're at least going to look. And, and it gives you more protection from the harassment of the police when they really shouldn't be harassing you. Okay. All right. Good information. Thank you, David. You're welcome.